Okay, this is part three and the last part of this rejection story. I think it's really important to share the highs and lows of any business and brand that you're running. I rebranded my show for the third time. I launched as the Happy Workaholic. I rebranded to Everything is Messy when my book came out. And then I rebranded again recently to Kellyanne Cares because I wanted it to be a more personal show and then separate my two brands with my book and my merch line. And so I did that because I was already putting together this plan to pitch myself to all of these networks. Everything, not everything works out and everything happens for a reason. I write about this in my book. I've been saying this for, I don't even know how long. Um, and I want to do more for more people. So what I did was I created this on demand summer coaching experience that for four months is less than a thousand dollars where you get me in your back pocket where I can help you up level in your life and business now, starting now, four months. If you sign up tonight, it's four months. If you start, start, oh my God, I can't talk. Sign up next week, it's four months. My one hour coaching calls are $300. My one month of my on demand summer experience is $297. This is a fucking steal. I created this a couple weeks ago, May 1st to be exact. And then I just added more one on one coaching calls with me to all of my other programs. So if you're looking to um, leverage your LinkedIn, I have two programs for that. If you want anything podcast production, podcast development, I've incorporated a more value to all of those. If you're interested in all the any of those programs, all of those programs, um, just comment below, send me a DM, I would love to help you. But you can also look visit the link in my bio or go to kellyangorman.com, everythingismessy.com. You can read about my whole long life story and how I got to where I am. You can see why I do these programs. I create shit that needs to exist. In 2017, I was uploading video files instead of audio files. I had no fucking idea about anything in podcasting, but I was obsessed with Gary Vaynerchuk. I was listening to him all throughout my chemo days. And he's like, if you want a podcast, go get a fucking podcast. So I created a fucking podcast. And then everybody else online wanted me to show them how I did it. And I said, I have no fucking idea. So then I created something that is now my podcast development business, my entire brand, what I do for a living. So I meant to be exactly where I'm, I am right now physically next week. We still don't know where that's going to be. But I think it's really important to share this story and share that newsletter that I wrote. It took me like an hour and a half to write that. Um, but I just want to share this part three because I'm just really passionate about what I do. And I think it's, again, so important to share the highs and lows because there's so much fake shit on the internet and you're not going to get that here. So